Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I'm going to share with you a couple of tips to make sure that your attic is well ventilated and stays cool in the summer. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you're thinking about doing a DIY project on your attic, uh, obviously most people think about uh, their first thought is, well, I need to blow in more insulation. Well, that is true, but if you don't know what you're doing and you blow in insulation and clog all the soffit vents around the edge of the house, then you're going to create a high humidity problem and possibly even a mold problem in your attic. So one of the things that you need to make sure you do is you install baffles. If you look right over here, those little pieces of foam board that's stuck down between the insulation and the roof decking are called baffles. Now they come in cardboard and different things like that. You can get those at Home Depot, Lowe's, different places, but what that baffle does is it actually keeps the air or allows the air from the outside to travel in to the attic, which then works its way up to the ridge vent, which is above me. So if you've got a ridge vent, you need some baffles. You gotta have air moving in and out. Now this house also behind me has a solar attic fan which is installed. So as soon as the sun comes up, that attic fan kicks in and starts drawing air out of the attic. Now you can do a gable fan if that helps. If you got a really hot attic, we'd recommend you put in a gable fan or some type of active ventilation because basically a soffit to ridge is a passive ventilation. So uh, another thing you might wanna think about doing is installing radiant barrier. Now we've made this available on our DIY store, so that way if you're looking to, to put some radiant barrier in your own attic, then you can just get that and install it. And we got installation and all that sort of thing. But the nice thing about radiant barrier is it blocks up to 96% of the heat, the sun's energy from the roof decking. So that way it makes the attic cooler in the summer. Now this may not be a big deal if you don't have heating and air ducts in your attic, but if you do have heating and air ducts in your attic, you are basically sucking that hot air from your attic and blowing it down into your living space. So if you've got an HVAC system sitting up in your attic, you should certainly consider radiant barrier and make sure you got proper ventilation and of course making sure that your attic hatch is properly covered as well. So my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.